Okay, so let's get started here with the Rainbow E-Series one speed model. And uh, to remove the water separator nut on this guy, um, you can usually use the wrench that comes with a lot of these E-Series models. If you don't have that, you can use a half inch socket or like we're gonna do today, just a flathead screwdriver. So just put the screwdriver in the little slot there on the nut, grab the, uh, the water separator with your other hand and kind of twist the water separator clockwise as you're twisting the nut counterclockwise with the screwdriver and uh, they should just come loose. Sometimes they're a little bit tighter and it requires a little more pressure. It helps if you really push down on the water separator as you're loosening the nut. And uh, if all else fails, usually getting a, a half inch socket with a socket wrench on there gives you enough leverage to be able to remove the nut and then remove the water separator. The best way we found to be able to remove a stubborn water separator nut on these SE cans is to get the screwdriver in there, push down with your hand on the water separator, and then try and rotate the water separator clockwise as you turn the screwdriver counterclockwise. Usually comes loose, sometimes it takes a little effort. If all else fails, you can always use a 9 16 inch socket or wrench to get the nut loose. All right, so last but not least, let's look at the Rainbow E2 models. This here is the E2 Black, but this will also work for the E2 Gold model and the E2 Blue models. Uh, one thing you're gonna wanna note with these is they're a little bit different. First of all, can't use a flathead screwdriver on here because the nut doesn't have a slot in it. Uh, you may also notice that this nut is plastic, so you don't wanna use a metal socket or wrench on it. That's where you're gonna wanna use the included wrench tool right here for the water separator. So these come in handy. If you don't have one of these, um, we sell them. So we'll, we'll put a link in the video description. But with this, since it's plastic, it's not gonna harm your uh, water separator nut. So just put it on there, grab it with one hand, grab the water separator with your other hand. And just like the other ones, twist with uh, one hand counterclockwise, lefty loosey, as you're turning the water separator to the right should come loose. The nice thing about these newer models is that they, uh, with both parts being plastic, you rarely get a nut that's stuck on there or that's too tight, and you should just be able to loosen it with your fingers. Did you know Rainbow Vacuum Cleaners are some of the best vacuum cleaners on the market because they use water and HEPA filtration? Here at Great Vax, we service thousands of Rainbow's vacuum cleaners. So if you have any questions or concerns, send us an email at serviceatgreatvax.com. If you'd like to stay up to date with all our videos, click that bell button and subscribe, and don't forget to like. As always, thanks for watching.